हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ चंद्रशेखर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दिस इनक्रेडिबली वंडरफुल संडे का फंडा सीरीज इस सीरीज में हम प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन और लाइव एक्सपेरिमेंट के थ्रू आप लोगों को कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सप्लेन करते हैं इन द सिंपल मैनर सो आज के डिस्कशन में मैं बात करूंगा कि अगर किसी बॉडी को नॉर्मल वाटर में रखें फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल एग को अगर मैं नॉर्मल वाटर में रखता हूं हाउ इट बिहेव क्या होता है उससे और अगर मैं उसी एग को सॉल्ट वाटर में रखूंगा तो क्या हमारी ऑब्जर्वेशन होगी सो लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मैंने एक नॉर्मल वाटर टैप वाटर लिया है एक ग्लास में और उसमें मैं एग डाल रहा हूं अगर मैंने एग को नॉर्मल वाटर में डाला क्या हुआ इट सिंक्स टू द बॉटम राइट अब इसी वॉटर में अगर मैं सॉल्ट एड कर देता हूं पहले मुझे एग को मैं रिमूव कर देता हूं उसके बाद अगर उसमें सॉल्ट वॉटर एड कर देंगे तो फिर क्या चेंजेस होंगे लेट अस ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट इसमें मैं सॉल्ट एड कर रहा हूं ये मेरे पास सॉल्ट है इसमें मैं सॉल्ट डाल रहा हूं खूब सारा सॉल्ट डालना पड़ेगा मिक्स करते रहना पड़ेगा तो ठीक है मैं सॉल्ट ऐड कर रहा हूं तो जैसा कि देख पा रहे हैं आप मैंने इसमें सॉल्ट ऐड कर दिया पर आपको दिखाई नहीं दे रहा क्योंकि सॉल्ट सारा डिजोल्व हो गया खूब सारा सॉल्ट डाला पूरा का पूरा ऑलमोस्ट वो डिजोल्व हो गया है तो कलर भी चेंज नहीं हुआ वैसा ही ट्रांसपेरेंट दिख रहा है अब इस सॉल्ट वॉटर में अगर मैं उसी एग को रखता हूं तो क्या हुआ इट इज नॉट सिंकिंग टू द बॉटम अभी ये फ्लोट कर रहा है दिखाई दे रहा है आप लोगों को तो बताइए ऐसा क्यों है कि नॉर्मल वाटर में वो सिंक कर गया और सॉल्ट वाटर में वो सिंक नहीं कर रहा है इसका जो थियोरेटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट है उसको समझने के लिए लेट अस मूव टू द बोर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड इट हेलो एवरी सो गाइज वेलकम बैक so in the experiment we have observed that the egg started floating in salt water in the normal water it it was sinking but in the salt water it started floating let us try to understand the reason behind it the concept which is applied to the flotation of the body is called as buoyancy so let us try to understand the buoyancy and then we will see how the salt water makes the egg to float in it so what exactly is the buoyancy it is nothing but the net vertical hydrostatic force it is the pressure force net pressure force which is acting in upward direction on the body which is either completely immersed in the fluid or it is partially submerged right so archimedes principle archimedes had given this principle of buoyancy according to his observation he concluded that the weight of the fluid displaced by the immersed body is called as buoyant force and then direction will be upward so what is the buoyant force it is weight of the displaced fluid so density of the fluid into volume of the displaced fluid into g density into volume will be mass into g is acceleration due to gravity so mg is the weight so it is the independent of density of the body which is floating or which is immersed in the fluid it is only a function of density of the fluid in which the body is immersed and the volume of the fluid which is displaced by the body and the direction will always be upward right that was the archimedes principle now if we want the immersed body to be in equilibrium for the equilibrium condition or for the vertical equilibrium there are two forces which are acting on the body one is upward force that is the buoyant force and the another one is the downward force that is the weight of the body so if we see for condition for vertical equilibrium 
the amount of buoyant force should be equal to weight of the body. So net vertical force must be zero. So buoyant force is rho f into v f d into g. And what is the weight of the body? That is the density of the body into volume of the body into g. So if we simplify this, rho f v f d is equal to rho b v b, or we can say volume of the displaced fluid is given by this expression. So where rho b is the average density of the body, v b is the total volume of the body, and rho f is the density of the fluid in which the body is immersed. So for vertical equilibrium, this condition must be applicable. This is called as volume of displaced fluid. Right? Now, in which condition the body will float or in which condition the body will sink. So if the average density of the body will be less than density of the fluid, what I said was volume of the displaced fluid is equal to average density of the body into volume of the body upon density of the fluid. That is the condition for vertical equilibrium. When the average density of the body, why I am calling it as average density? Because a body can be made up of more number of materials. So the average density of the body is less than density of the fluid. Then we can say in that case, volume of the displaced fluid, volume of the displaced fluid will be less than volume of the displaced fluid will be less than volume of the body. If the displaced fluid will be lesser than the total volume of the body, then the body will be floating. When the average density of the body is less than density of the fluid, the body will float, right? When the average density of the body becomes equal to the density of the fluid, in that case, VFD will be equal to VB. Volume of the displaced fluid is equal to volume of the body. That is called as suspended body or neutrally buoyant. Or we can call it as completely immersed body. Still, the weight of the body is equal to buoyant force. In both the cases, 1 and 2, the weight of the body is balancing with the buoyant force acting on the body by the fluid. But in third case, when the average density of the body is greater than density of the fluid, when average density of the body is greater than density of the fluid, then definitely weight of the body will be greater than buoyant force. Then the equilibrium condition cannot be achieved. We cannot have the equilibrium condition to be achieved in the third case when the density of the body is greater than density of the fluid. So the body will sink to the bottom. So whenever a body sinks in the fluid, it always tells us that the density of the body is greater than the density of the fluid in which the body is immersed. And when the egg kept in a normal water, when we put egg in the normal water, then it sinks to the bottom. Why? Because the density of the egg is greater than density of normal water. So what we have done is we added the salt in the water to increase the density. The addition of the salt in water will increase the density. Right? When we increase the density of water, then definitely the density of water or the salt water will become greater than density of the egg material. So when it happens, then the body will be floating, then the egg will start floating. So salt addition of the salt will increase the density of the water. Salt water is having higher density compared to the normal water and that is why it started floating in salt water. I hope you enjoyed this session, this video. Please do subscribe our Baiju's YouTube channel for more such video. Thank you. Enjoy. Take care and Jai Hind.